So, the other day, I sculpted the Zoria cookies in Nomad Sculpt, and like a total jerk that I am, I left out the part where I created the alpha. So, this is what this video is going to be about how I make my alphas in Procreate and how I import them in Nomad Sculpt. I'm gonna make a new file for you. And that's better. Now I'm adding a cylinder. This is going to be the upper part of the cookie where the Oreo logo is going to be imprinted. And I won't be doing anything extreme at this point. Just subdivide a few times. Of course, you can go crazy with your sculpting if you prefer. And now we're going to make a nice alpha. Something like this. I'm going to open Procreate, create a new canvas. Just make sure it's square. When we're talking about an alpha, it is actually how the 3D space is interpreted in two dimensions. And the way an alpha works in Nomad Scout. Uh, the highest points of the 3D scene are white and the lowest points are black. And this is what we want to make in Procreate. I have two options here. I can either draw the high points in white on a black canvas or I can work from a photo. Which is what I'm going to do because I want my cookie to feel more organic, more natural, if you know what I mean. So, I am importing this photo. This is a photo of an actual Oreo cookie, and I will try to manipulate it so that the highest parts look bright and the lowest parts look dark. And I'm not uh, doing something in particular, just experimenting. What you do depends on the photo, actually. All right, that's pretty decent. I'm going to save the picture in my photo gallery and now I'm going back to No One's Cult. Select the stamp tool and I am loading the alpha I just created. It might take a few tries to have a center stamp. I'm also going to check this square front facing vertex only. that's what it looks like. Let's quickly make the rest of the cookie. Basically, that's it. 